Yeah, so I've got that on the Yeah, John Barnard. Then is it B... B A R N A R D. John, can I ask you, um, first of all, I asked Graham this, the same question, um, when you started and why you started doing we Measuring Hills? We started about 2006. Um, we've all, Graham and I and a group of people, we've done a lot of hill walking. And uh, part of hill walking is uh, hill lists out there. For example, perhaps the most popular of the Munros in Scotland, 3,000 foot mountains. And you get objectives really, of climbing all those particular hills. But when you go to a lot of hills and you get to the top, say, well, is this really the top or is it somewhere else? Is it that bump over there or what is it? So that led us to start some preliminary surveying with little um, handheld instruments to just to try and identify summit positions. And then really we've just progressed from there to um, what we're doing now, which is full-scale measuring, you know, GPS and the, and the most up-to-date technology. Can I ask you how, how many hills you think you've done now? I reckon we've surveyed between 150 and 200 in total, yeah. And Over, that's since 2006. So we're doing about 25 a year, 30 a year, something like that. And how many of those uh, would you say have you now had to reclassify? Because there are some big ones, aren't there? Well, there's some big ones. The two in Scotland that uh, were Munro's that we've uh, declassified to Corbett's. Um, we've altered a couple of 2,000 footers in uh, England. Uh, Manif Craigoch was the first one in Wales, um, and there's some minor ones that we've um, altered the status of, probably about another 10 or 15. So it's so quite a good hit rate, really, for um, what we've been doing. So you have created, haven't you, two new mountains, effectively? Yes, um, one was Manif Craigoch in Wales, which we said was 2006, and about um, a month ago, Thackmore in Cumbria. Can I ask you this question? Is accuracy something that's always been important to you? Yes, I mean, getting the good data. I mean, if you might as well collect data, you must have good data. Um, but the interest in getting accuracy here is because we're looking at things that are at critical levels, like the 2000 mark or the so on either side. Um, it's important, but obviously, if you went to 2050 feet, you wouldn't be worried because a, a foot either way would make no difference. So it's so those critical um, height barriers that. Um, is the work that we concentrate on. But uh, is accuracy something that's always sort of bugged well, you? I, I, I did a PhD in chemical physics and spectroscopy <laughs> and there you had highly accurate work so yes I suppose uh, uh, train spotting <laughs> accuracy yes it has been yeah. It's yeah. just part of you? Yes yeah yeah I, I like things right and I like things to know what they are yeah. And if we have walked uh, up a mountain today and we end up walking down a hill, mm. does it matter in the end? Does it matter to me? Not, not really. <laughs> no. I mean, the mountain, the hill, it's still a mountain, the hill, and it's still enjoying you. You, you look at the great scenery here. Um, it just matters to a particular hill list. Um, but uh, no, no. I go up lots of hills and I never measure them. I still enjoy them. So I wouldn't regard it as important. It's a game. Uh -huh. yeah. I mean, especially if it's not important at all. I mean, it has to be a bit important, doesn't it? Otherwise, you wouldn't be doing it. You're not just doing it for, for no Well, we, we, do, we do it for our hill lists, and, and uh, we do it for something called the Hills Database, where on the internet we've got a database of all British hills, which has probably the most accurate data you can get anywhere. And so it's about refining that data and keeping that database as, as best we can and continually refining it and building on it. And that's what we've been doing now for about eight years. Yeah. So a lot of people use this data. Um, you get um, mountaineers, um, you get the chaps who go on the tops of hills with their radio transmitters and, and transmit to China, and they use our database for hill data because the higher they go, the more points they score. So it does um, encompass a number of other hobbies as well that people use our data. And bagging, of course. And bagging, of course, yeah. That's probably the most important, yeah. And when you do uh, end up reclassifying um, a hill as a mountain or a mountain as a hill, I mean, that's quite something, isn't it? If you have, I mean, you, you and your team have sort of almost personally oh, created yeah, yeah. two more mountains. It's, it's, that's it's something, quite, it? quite satisfying. I mean, I think for me, the most satisfying things are the work we've been doing in Scotland. People have been working with the Munro Society on the marginal Munros. And we know when we complete this work that we have actually defined forever what the list of Munros will be. There will never be any more debate about it. So it's quite satisfying to know you, you did that. Yeah. And you've got rid of two Munros. We got rid of two, yes, but we couldn't find any new ones. But does it? I mean, I don't know whether people might think, mm, no, it's a bit of a shame. 
Well, it is. I mean, it was something called the Fisherfield Six was uh, the last one that we did. So it's six manroes and a big horseshoe. And of course, we deleted one, and that becomes the Fisherfield Five. So it's a bit disappointing. But the hills there is st still part of the walk, and you can still go and enjoy it. So nothing's really changed of the ambience of the hill. Uh, once you've done all your marginal hills, mm. mountains, Munros, not Munros, will you still be climbing mountains? <laughs> Age might have um, crept up <laughs> by then. We've got about um, 300 getting on for hills on what we call the intray, which is an Excel spreadsheet with things to do. So a 25 years. 300 year, left? 300 more to do. Okay. And people keep adding them for us. So, uh, yeah. 65 I'm coming up for this year I won't be around <laughs> for any more well, well done you that's great lovely okay that's great thank you very much enjoyed that thank you Joe. very good that's very good uh, did you say chemical physics yeah. very very really good uh, good interviews and you were at ICI I worked for ICI so here's uh, Keith this were Graham and I and uh, Graham the reporter we worked for a while in the same and of course group, uh, but we John as well we've been walking now because so, uh, we do a lot really of I mean, walking is our main thing yes. well, that's looking um, at uh, walking 20, towards Orm's Head so, yeah. it's uh, stunning up here today absolutely beautiful